What's up, guys? Bitter it outdoors. Um, today's a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm gonna be looking down a little bit. I got some cheat sheets here. Um, today we are rocking Bucks. Um, Bucks is a brand new brand. Um, that I'm happy to uh, not be part of, but I kind of am. I'm supporting them in uh, my own way by buying this stuff. Um, Bucks, B-U-X, is the same company as Ducks, D-U-X. Um, same people that run it, same people that um, advertise for them. I'm just helping out, not sponsored by them yet. Um, I've got anything for them. I promise you I will when we hit that mark that I can apply for them. Um, but today's video we're going to be talking about hunting season. Hunting season starts here in two weeks. And this is my second time doing this video because my OBS wasn't all set up yet. Um, it had a hard time configuring it to my to my editing software and uh, I couldn't get that done there um, but here we are we are back um, we got my setup here um, got screen recording We've got our main camera here. Be back soon. That's for my editing and streaming and that all kinds of stuff. And then here. But. Sorry. My background is a little messy. We're, uh, my office is a little messy. We're packing for hunting season, getting ready for fall, getting ready for decoration. All that kind of stuff, so it's, it's a little messy, okay? Um, but that's besides the point. Um, we're in my garage, so that's why I get the heater and that kind of stuff. And that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we are getting into hunting season. Um, September... It's uh, the 4th, I believe. Yeah, it's the 4th. So it's, it's a Saturday. So we got two weeks um, from this video here. Exactly two weeks from this video. Um, elk and deer start the 24th for archery. Um, so I'm assuming next week's video is going to be me packing for that. Uh, Started, I got my tote ready with some clothes, some bedding, um, some gear like that. My pack gets here, my new pack actually, is, gets here Monday or tomorrow. So we'll be ready for that. Um, I almost, I was about 2,000 to 4,000 people away from getting a moose tag. My state does a lottery type style um, moose tag. Same with some mule deer stuff. We didn't get a mule deer. We got bull elk, no cow elk this year. Um, two deer tags. We got my general deer, my general deer, and we got an archery bee tag for where I live. Um, which. I can't wait for two weeks from now because uh, there is a couple of bucks that I'm telling you that are going to be slayed with my arrow, my pink, beautiful arrow. And uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be ready for slinging one right through them. And uh, then we got a couple does that need to be taken care of. See that? Um, my team, so it consists of me, my editor, 
which we are looking for an editor. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel page, go to the about um, section at the, all the way at the end. Um, you will find an email there for business inquiries. And uh, you can shoot me an email with all of your um, specs, I guess, that's not the right word, but specs of uh, everything you've edited, um, if you've gotten a resume, um, if you also have some stuff for like some projects that you've done editing wise. Um, so I can take a look at that. My team will look at that, shoot you an email right back. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, but that's besides the point. Got my friend, you saw my fly fishing video. Him and I are going elk hunting. My video cameraman and I um, and my friend are gonna be going elk hunting um, in two weeks. Camera guy might, he's got some stuff he's got to do. Um, so he might not be there for the first week or the first two or three weeks, but he'll be there for the rest of the season. <clears throat> and um, my friend, he'll be there. So I'm going to be calling him in a giant bull this year. I mean, I've been working so gosh darn hard to uh, get my bow set up, which next week's video for packing, oh my gosh, guys, you're going to love my bow. It's, uh, oh, excuse me. Okay, sorry that we were interrupted there. Um, but editor, we're looking for an editor. Um, elk season is going to be right there around, well, we call my friend in a nice big bull. Um, a bow. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, my bow is amazing. Um, it's the same bow that I had last year. Some of you guys, I, it's not up on the channel right now, but if some of you, like, OGs out there will know my packing video. It's the same bow as that, just different strings, different sight, different peep. You know, just, I mean, all around a different bow, different feel, different, I mean, I'm maxed out, I'm like 65, 70 pounds. Um, personally, I wish I could go up, because that's pretty easy for me to shoot. I wish I could go up to like 75, 80, to even 90 pounds. Um... Sounds like a lot. It is a lot. But I think I could do it. Um, we are... Excuse me. I was interrupted again. Um, my bow is beautiful. I personally love it. Uh, we're shooting out to 50 yards this year. Um, just, yeah, we're good. Um, shooting out to 50... Comfortably, I'm out to 35, 40, 50 yards is a little sketchy for me, um, just because my sight is a little wonky. Um, the bubble I use is like the, the level bubble inside the sight. I gotta hold the bubble literally on the vitals. That's my pin pretty much because um, it doesn't go down anymore some reason I've tried literally everything moving the whole site trying to get everything um, just doesn't work for some reason uh, but we will be shooting an elk this year hopefully one of us will my friend or I will be shooting an elk I'm gonna call in him in giant elk um, if you guys want to see a playlist or a video I think it's a, yeah, it's a video of me bugling and cow calling. Um, it's a little different from that. It was like, this is either last year or two years ago when I did that video. Um, but if you guys can watch that, 
show you how to bugle elk, bugle, cow call, all that fun stuff. Um, my bugles are a lot more intense this year. Practiced a lot. And that's the big key is the practice part. Is uh, stop distracting me now. Um, yeah, bugling is a lot more intense. Cow calls, more like beautiful, realistic cow calls. Um, I mean, they, like they should be, right? But last year, I had a bull. Uh, last year, my cow calls were not that on point. Um, I had a bull come in. Um, and he was only responding to bull calls. Um, Jesus. He was only responding to the bull calls. Um, he came in, didn't like what he saw, didn't see an elk. And I think, honestly, the wind shifted a little bit on me. And he skedaddled. He was out. And, um, yeah. But then we got a turkey license this year. First time having that. <coughs> um, duck season starts October, the first weekend of October, which is the, the third or the second or something like that. And then, then, yeah, that's rifle season starts the 23rd. It's that weekend. Um, We, yeah, I think that's, I think that is all I want to cover here. Um, besides, soon as we hit 60 subscribers, I would, I've been really wanting to do a like to buy. And that's where you, as the viewer, likes my video certain amount of times, let's say, for my audience, you know, 20, let's just say that, 20 likes, then I will go out and buy that certain item that I've, I told you, and we reached that like goal, um, so when we hit 60 subscribers, we'll do that, um, but if you guys want me to do, like, a review on, like, some gear, I've got most, I mean, you name piece of gear or piece of kit that I've got, um, I can review it for you. I mean, if, even if I don't have it, uh, and if I've used it, I'd tell you, and if I have access to it, I'd tell you, I'd show it to you. I've used almost everything out there. I mean, every gun you could possibly think of, 4570, I mean, you name it, a Probably shot it and probably used it some way or another. Um, yeah, but if you guys like that idea, drop a comment down below of what you want me to do um, and review, and I can do that for you guys. Um, unboxing type stuff. Um, if you guys may have saw my search bar here um, when I did that little scene for you here we've got a couple things may or may not be in order for up, upcoming rifle season um but you guys need to let me know on what you want me to want to see um my friend and i are gonna go down probably next weekend scout next weekend i believe yeah, next weekend we'll g probably go down, scout, um, we'll show you guys that. And there we go, we'll be packing um, next Monday, Monday the 23rd I'll be packing. Um, getting everything ready, so that video will be up, and next weekend we'll be Hunting, for me, you guys won't see that video till the following week. Um, so you guys will get a uh, update, you know, like a scouting video. 
either elk or deer or it's gonna be probably elk if we get to go down there um but big big events coming up um yeah i will be filming monday getting that thing scheduled to post on the 29th and of me packing so you guys will get to see my bow a little bit of a sneak peek there I gotta shoot my bow a couple times this week throw on the old broadheads um, I gotta call my um, archery my local archery place got some more arrows coming you guys will get to see some arrows um, they're honestly pretty sick, not going to lie. Uh, I personally like them. They shoot really, really good. Um, only broke... Have I broke two of them? But the first one I know... Yeah, I broke two of them. The, the first one... My fault may or may not have hit some metal blew the thing to shreds I mean it's gone snapped in half blew the front out blew the back out destroyed I had to throw it away second arrow I don't want to be you know adding weight so I knocked I I hit it so hard my mat for my target it hit the mat so hard it knocked the knock out of the back and <coughs> I could have took it back to, you know, my archery place and had them glue it in. But then that adds weight. That adds different flight patterns to the arrow. It's not worth it, in my opinion, to do that. Um, so I chose not to do that and just throw that arrow away. So I've got three arrows left that way. And... So far, knock on head here. Um, they will last, and I've got six more arrows coming. So they'll be pretty good. Um, really expensive arrows to be breaking, to be honest. But that's part of hunting, right? You gotta, you know, for the hobby, you've gotta spend money do what you want right that's my thought at least but I won't keep you guys too long we're looking at probably about a 15 minute video here um look at my note card here turkey moose ducks hunting season editor like the buys reviews yeah um, you guys stay tuned. Um, honestly, we've hit almost 10 watch hours, which honestly, you guys not, may not think that's a lot. It's not. It's not even a mark on my, I want to say it's a thousand watch hours or something like that. Um, not even close to that, but huge milestone for me. Um, thank you so much. We have... Um, there's only like 39 of you guys, 39% of you guys not subscribed. That's like two or three people not subscribed. I'd like to see that at like 80 to 90. Honestly, 100% would work for me. But I can only ask for so much. We're sitting at like 67 or 68%. So it's doable to hit 80, 90 percent. Um, so a little bit more people subscribe. Don't forget to like and share this video. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week on a packing video. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.